In this clip, you will create the base shake effect using filters and transitions. Let's get into it. Play the sequence and check for beats. When you find the beat, press M to create a marker. You can also use the beat detection feature to automatically detect beats in the audio track. Add markers as shown. Split the clip as shown. Navigate to the Transitions tab, Warp category. Then drag the Warp 7 transition to the edit points where you wish the base shake effect to appear. Double click on a transition to open the Transitions tab. In the Transitions section, set a duration to 10 frames. Click Apply to All. Click OK. Play the sequence to see the effect. Navigate to the Effects tab, Filters category, Distortion subcategory. Drag Chromatic Aberration to the V2 track. Align effect with the transition. Copy chromatic aberration to other edit points. Play the sequence to see the effect. So that's a look at how to create base shake effect using filters and transitions.